Hey everyone, this is Dan from the Evolving Music blog, www.evolvingmusicedu.com, and I just wanted to share something with you guys today that I've been trying in my lesson studio for about a year with some really great results. And uh, let's check it out. So I'm going to turn the camera around here. This is Clay. And uh, what I've done here is made an entire grand staff uh, out of the clay. And I got a couple notes here. And I'd just like to introduce you guys to what, what it is exactly that I do with this and why it's so amazingly helpful. So basically what we have here is we've got five lines simulating the bass clef, a line simulating middle C, and then five lines for the treble clef in our two notes. And I started using this as a fantastic way to uh, help kids read notes and kind of understand the grand staff and how it really works. So I'm going to give you a couple quick examples of how to use this with your students. And there's going to be a lot more to come. But uh, hopefully these examples help. So uh, the first one is this. What I have my students do is be able to recognize the shapes that uh, make up the staff and the notes. And what I mean by that is this. What you want to make sure that your students can do is I've got an example song here, Leftover Popcorn, from uh, level 2A of Piano Adventures. What you want to make sure that your student can do without worrying about the names of the notes is to see a note in the book. So for example, let's take D in the treble clef there. They should be able to place the clay note in that exact spot on the clay staff here. You'd be so surprised how many kids have a really hard time taking the shapes that they see on the piece of paper and matching them to the clay notes here. And once you start having your students do this, it is so eye-opening that most of their note reading problems are a shape recognition problem. And uh, what you actually want to have them do is go through note by note through the entire song moving the clay note following along note by note in the entire song. So this song goes C, D, D, E, C. So your student, not naming the notes, just doing the shape, should go and that corresponds with C D, D, E, C. And you should have them do that for the entire length of the song, especially ones where they're having a hard time recognizing or knowing what the notes are. This is a great first, uh, first step of diagnosing any trouble that your students might have with reading notes. So another thing that you can do with this, which I love, this is how I actually first came up with this idea, was... Uh, the, I came up with the idea to use clay as a means to make what's on the page here three-dimensional so it's like something that they could reach out and touch. So a really fun game that you can do is take one of your clay notes and put it anywhere on the entire grand staff, have your students close their eyes and try to feel where that note is by feeling the lines and the spaces. And again, we're not worrying about naming the notes. What we're going for is a really good understanding of what all these shapes are that make up the staff and the notes.